I'm Mike from Cinti Studios. In this video we'll look at using Mixamo animations on our polygon characters in Unity. Let's start with a new blank project. Bring in one of our polygon packs and we can go from there. Drag one of our character prefabs into the scene. If you press play you'll notice that they don't animate. Head to Mixamo.com where we can sign up for an account and get started. You'll notice Mixamo has its own default character. This isn't great for our specific characters so we'll upload our own model. Click the upload button and upload the FBX model from the description below. Use the default settings on the auto rigger and click next. You'll now notice the character is swapped out for our polygon character. This is perfect. We can now click the download button and use the following settings to download an FBX file containing the animations. Now we'll head back to Unity, where we'll import our FBX file and start setting up our animation. After import, select the FBX, head over to the rig panel in the inspector and change the drop down box from animation type to humanoid. We also need to configure the humanoid rig and change a few properties to match our polygon character. We need to change the joint assignments within Mechanim. First we need to go to the head and remove the eyebrows from the draw assignment. We then have to move the finger joint assignment from the little finger to the middle finger. We have to do this on both hands. After that's done, click apply. We then change to the animation tab where we need to change a few settings to make this work with our character. We now need to create an animation controller. This can be done by right clicking in the assets window and creating a new animation controller. You can rename your controller and then double click on it to bring up the animator window. We need to right click and create an empty state. We can then set the motion. From the drop down menu we'll select Mixamo.com. Head back to the scene view and assign the character controller to our character prefab in the scene. Now, when you press play, you should have an animated character. We hope you found this tutorial helpful, and if you want to see more of these videos, please subscribe.